Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Sweets Farm. We got a tough topic today, um, something that came up real quick on us. I don't know if you can see this. Watch her, watch her foot. Whoop. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Can you see that at all? Maybe it's not as bad as it's been. We've got a gal with Merrick's disease. And I don't know if you're familiar with Merrick's disease. We've done a bunch of looking into it. Um, it is a cancer. It's uh, a virus that causes a cancer, and there's a couple forms it'll get either tumors inside the bird, or in this case, it's starting paralysis. We're noticing on the on her right side, her wing, Holly noticed it yesterday, and then I came out, and she her leg was all bent around, and uh, eventually, if, I guess they will, you'll find them dead, and one leg will be sprawled forward and one back. Um, it's something that, when your birds get it, about 60% of them are gonna die. The others could become carriers. So now we've got this in our flock. Um, you can see she's just, she's not a normal girl. We've separated her all morning and uh, just to keep it from the rest of the flock, um, we're gonna dispatch the bird, unfortunately. It's bad to hear. There is no cure for this. You can get them immunized as one day old chicks. Um, and that helps, um, but it is carried by even other birds potentially. Um, but it's very common in poultry, uh, especially chickens. It's brought on by stress. Are they bullied? Is it a predator? Is it bad food? Are they coming into lay? Now this one, about five months old, coming into lay. I'm sure that might be the trigger. Um, it's a herpes virus, just like if you've got cold sore, some stressor brings it on, uh, and something brings it on in the birds. So um, there's no cure. I just wanted to, I guess it was a hard, she's gonna get much worse, and I didn't want to have her just sit around and wait to, to show you on a video. Apologize for all the traffic out here in the country. <laughs> um, anyways, just wanted to show you Merrick's disease. You wanna get it away. Um, it's transmitted through dust through uh, their feathers and through dust. So we're gonna go through and completely clean out the coop uh, over the next day, uh, get the bedding cleaned off, clean off their feeders, clean off their roosts, clean off their uh, waterers, and uh, she's just unsteady. Um, just get everything clean so it can't continue to be transmitted. And it might be in other birds. It can sit dormant for months uh, and then reappear. So we've got it. Um, I don't know, put some comments below if you've had it before in your flock, um, what you've done, but just wanted to share uh, our first time with Merrick's disease. Um, since now we're in that age group, but I guess it's common four months to 18 months. But put your comments below, appreciate it. Um, hope this has helped someone. Uh, if you're wondering why your bird might be falling down or not steady or have a, um, a wing or a, a limb that's uh, bent underneath it and kind of gnarled up. Um, she's actually standing really good for the video. So anyways, take care everybody.